Hello and welcome to what will be the Blobber Plays our Order Achievement Run here in EU4. So, picking a marina. You can pick any of the uh, fetishists. But I do, 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 have recently played in this area as Ethiopia. And I've recently played over here. And it wasn't all that long ago that I was doing playing these little guys for the Victorian 3 and so forth achievement. Whereas I haven't, I don't remember playing over here in Madagascar recently, so that's why I'm picking over here. And there are some starts for this that are just stupidly strong. Mutapa with all their gold money. Like, easy mode. Now, let's have a look. Who hates us? These... Everyone hates us. That's no good. I guess we'll have to see how the alliance structures unfold. I'll pick War Exhaustion. I'll build a couple more people. I'll begin fabricating here. I don't like that decision, and then we wait until next month. It's like this guy might be the one to go after. So we'll begin fabricating there. It's a nasty event to do with which, um, which of the cults we picked. So apparently we're a cruel leader, which is not great. Got a reasonable heir. They're not super shitty. Lower our maintenance just enough that we aren't losing money whilst we're sitting around waiting for our claims. Oh joy. That's no good. Now you're the only one left. I guess we take that one. But we'll take it later once I've gotten a claim using points, because otherwise it increases the cost of the other claims. So, speed five this. Very good. Good lord. No, goodbye prestige. Do 
Dude, oh. And let's get ready to get to it. Now, we'll do some of the usual tricks. Hello. I want all your points. Hello. I want enough of your points, but not so many as that it causes me problems. And I want your ducats. We can't afford any of those anyway. Look at our general. A 4-1 is... He hasn't got it where it's important, but... He's better than nothing. How old is our king? I mean, we've got a queen consort, so I could kind of just try and roll our king and see what he gets. He's not even helpful either. We go eat this pie. Boom. Back wiped. Easy. We get our unlock the cult of Islam. One, two, three, four. Put one over here. I personally don't like Mr. Horsey, he's far too expensive for us. We could have five infantry at that cost. And you know what? We probably should. Might as well get another claim there. Gaining 100 admin would be nice. So would this one. Mm, that one is the most valuable, so I get that claim. I take the mission. I might go boost my stability once, so that I can go take the religious sacrifices one. Because this is just a pure positive. And the extra passive buff to our income because we've got positive stability would be nice. There we go, we're actually earning money. Now one question is, would putting our merchant over here help our trade income? Point one three. Yeah, a little bit. We'll take it. Now the question is, do I vassalize him or eat him? Or both? Do I eat the bit that I have a claim on and vassalize the rest? I think I just eat it all directly. Take as many of his monies as the game will let us take. These are already in my primary zone. I see. Well then we're going to have to do this now, aren't we? I do like the unrest, but I don't like the stability cost. Then again, we already got our, um, the other one. This one, Religious Sacrifices, so our stability is cheaper. I could trade a little of that away for some unrest. But I don't think I care about the prestige enough to want to trade away some more for prestige. Prestige is pretty easy to come by. Now I should go back to fabricating here. Poor Mombasa. It's 
So, we're going to use this newfound wealth of money to go slightly over force limit at the start of this fight. No. One more month, and our morale will be at max, and we'll have all the spy points we need to claim here. Oh. Oh, wrong one. No? Oh, I already have them. Good. Boom. Declare him as inside me. Squish, slow down. I need four. Oops, what did we done wrong? One, two, three, four. Everyone else, come kill him. You four, split up. Okay, and then we start seeking out friendship with him. Ah, oh, no you don't. Shift consolidate. Finish, move up. Finish, move up. GG. Consolidate away. Play ping pong. And it's GG for him. Actually, we'll do it like this. Full health guy here. Extra person that makes sure that even if we suffer attrition over that way, and then I think we're good. That takes ever so long. I'm not losing admin. Never. <laughs> Maybe if we can hire a um, religious make inquisitor guy, but I don't think we have the money for it yet. There we go. GG. Speed 5. Oh no, the renaissance, we fall even further behind in tech. There's one of them done. Oh please, please give us plus one. Yes! Over the course of his lifetime, that's like, as long as he lives eight years, that's better than the other option. If he lives more than eight years, which is fairly reasonable given his age, then it's strictly better. Sorry, I want to peace out.
And I want to go briefly over Force Limit for the start of this. Next war. Fabricate on that one. Now what we do is we peace out for everything. Now the question is, do I separate piece you? And I think I do because I want the money. Peace out here. I'm not allowed to take all the money. I can declare him my rival. Now that it's not going to cause them to ally against me because there's only one left. One more month and we'll have the spy points. Apparently fish is more valuable than slaves at the moment. Uh, no, Diplo is less important. Even if it makes them slightly angry at me. Yeah, have some prestige, be happy. GG! So we've got a wider army, he didn't have full morale, pretty dang easy. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, split, 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 split. Very good. One, two, three, four. The rest of these can consolidate away. Fact, you can consolidate away entirely. I'm happy to run one over until we finish. Our force limit will probably go up. And I'm happy to sit there and loot. Actually, we don't need to do that. Oh, maybe I kind of should do it for the high higher development ones. Now, the question is, once I've taken over that land, will I have enough income to support an Inquisitor? Let's try. Two a month. If I turn my army maintenance down? Yeah, I could almost afford that. We'll look into doing that once this war is over. Actually, maybe I'll start now. And get that conversion done. Now, why did I choose Imarina? Because of their super duper ideas. They have. Unrest, which is strong. Combat ability, which is very lovely. And manpower recovery speed, which is solid. Autonomy reduction, which is very solid. Morale, morale combines very well with the infantry combat ability. Goods produced, it's a bit meh. Fort defense, it's a bit meh. Tax modifier, it's a bit meh. Stability cost, it's nice, but it's not super strong. It combines well with our other bonuses to um, stability cost and infantry cost, which combines very well with in infantry combat ability and our extra morale. So they're actually surprisingly militant. 
Whereas most of the others that surround him are all like, trade, give us more boats, give us more chance of capturing boats, give us better trade power. I suppose I should maybe go back to making friends with Mutapa, but I'm assuming this siege is going to finish. Then again, I could always just call back from this guy. Thank you. I want all your stuff. And your money. As much of your money as you will let me have. Thank you. Ugh. No problems. Dun, 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 dun. And we now get a manpower recovery run or a proper fleet. Not sure that our fleet would pay for itself, but if we're going to go start invading Kilwa, we're going to need a fleet eventually anyway. Hmm. Well, I'll think about it across the break, because you know what time it is? Yes, it's time to end the episode. In this first episode, as Imerina, we have taken over Madagascar and solidified our power base therein. We're going to consider befriending Mutapa and attacking into Kilwa and trying to work our way up this coast. At least up to Ajuran, and then maybe turning around and backstabbing Mutapa and eating this zone. But we'll see. I hope you've enjoyed watching and that you'll join us again soon. Bye bye.